Now, with the growing concerns over the shortage of a crucial medical device, EpiPens, just as families are now gearing up for back to school. Here's ABC's Janae Norman. They're used to give potentially life-saving injections for dangerous allergic reactions. But tonight, nationwide EpiPen shortages are leaving parents on edge just as students head back to school. I went to the pharmacy, as I always do whenever I need an EpiPen, and they said, we have no EpiPens. Rachel Hamasaki's kindergartner has a severe nut allergy. She says she called 34 pharmacies near Denver searching for the critical medicine before finding one 40 minutes away. You have to have it if you have a severe allergy. This mom near Dallas didn't have much luck either. I started calling and calling and calling, and it didn't matter who I called, Walgreens, CVS, Tom Thumb, Albertson, nobody had it. EpiPens help treat allergic reactions to things like insect stings, medications, and food. The end of the summer is often a peak season for refills, but according to the FDA, shortages began in May. In a statement, Mylan, the company that sells EpiPens, says they continue to experience interruptions and supplies vary from pharmacy to pharmacy, but that they're actively exploring several options that would help stabilize the supply. After calling several pharmacies, Megan Brunson finally found one for her 11-year-old son and offers this this warning. Be on the hunt. <laughs> it's going to take some time. And Tom, just last week, the FDA approved the first generic EpiPen. That's good news for availability, but also for price. Without insurance, EpiPens could cost you several hundred dollars. Tom. Janae Norman for us tonight. Janae, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.